The Beelink GTR6, a powerhouse with a beautiful and compact form, is the most potent mini PC in the Beelink inventory. We recently had the chance to test it out in between dinners. It looks like a real diamond on paper, but how will it act in practice? Let's find out. The Beelink GTR6 is a little PC with small compact dimensions. It stands only 43mm tall, while the base is 168mm by 120mm, and is rectangular with rounded sides. Purely metallic in construction, the upper cover is modular and interchangeable, and has a fabric-like feel to conceal the fan underneath, while allowing air to exit. Two different color coverings are included in the bundle with them. It takes some time to remove the one that is already there, but you can do it by using a thin object to lever it in the appropriate spots. Because it is interlocking, there is no need to remove any screws. Doing so is necessary if you want to access the internal components, perhaps to update those or to install them if you bought a barebones version. There were air intakes with the very lovely white GTR writing on the sides, and there were also air intakes in the back, above the numerous I.O. ports, which I will discuss later. A second panel with a power button and clear CMOS, USB 3.0 port, USB-C port, and lastly a headset jack connector that supports headphones and a microphone, round out the front panel. A pair of stickers for AMD Ryzen 9 6000 series and AMD Radeon graphics, round out the front facade. An excellent fingerprint scanner is located in the lower right corner of the top, where you can instantly access your computer, without having to input a password or PIN. A 120 watt single pin power supply with Shuko plug, two HDMI 2.1 cables that support 8K resolution at 60 frames per second, one of which is longer and one of which is shorter developed for those who want to attach the device directly behind the monitor. And finally two plates and screws to precisely attach the Beelink GTR6 on the back of a monitor, are included in the package, in addition to the covers mentioned above, and the mini PC. Let's now discuss the performance of this small PC, which is a strong suit. The AMD Ryzen 6900 HX CPU, which has 8 cores and 16 threads and a base clock of 3.3 GHz, but can reach a maximum boost frequency of 4.9 GHz on a single core, is installed in the Beelink GTR6. The TDP is set to 35 watts by default, however you may simply increase it to 45 watts in the BIOS, if you want a slight performance gain. The results are commendable and demonstrate the computer's strength despite its diminutive size. The version that was supplied to us was pre-configured with RAM and an SSD, specifically, there are two RAM banks, each with 16 gigs of standard DDR5 RAM, and a Kingston M2 NVMe SSD, with good read and write performance, and a nominal size of 512 gigs. The SSD reflects Beelink's claims about speed and provides high-level performance, as shown in the photos below, which also show a test using Crystal Disk Mark. But how does it act in regular use? Well, this Beelink GTR6 allows you to accomplish anything. It's a genuinely great little PC that is arguably wasted for simple office use. In fact, it can run even heavier apps than the original office suite without any issues. For instance, using the Adobe suite won't present any issues. Let's not forget that the Beelink GTR6 is a gadget that Beelink describes as a little PC for gaming, and you can actually play a little bit of everything on it, if you sacrifice graphic quality. To give you a few examples, you can easily achieve more than 100 FPS on the popular Battle Royale Call of Duty Warzone 2, when playing in Full HD with low settings. On Fortnite at 1080p, it can be challenging to maintain 60 FPS in slightly more chaotic situations. However, by lowering the resolution, the situation significantly improves, and on games like Valorant and LoL, you can play them even with high graphics presets with ease. While the integrated GPU Radeon 680M is great, you shouldn't expect miracles when playing AAA games. In some cases, you may need to lower the resolution to 960p or 720p to get smoother performance, whereas in other cases, you may only need to lower the graphic settings to the minimum to play peacefully even in Full HD. One should not even hope to match the performance of a PC with a dedicated graphics card, although it cannot be ruled out that some driver updates in the future may also marginally enhance performance on specific games. In a historical era where energy costs are rising and energy efficiency is becoming more and more important, the Beelink GTR6 performs admirably in terms of consumption as well. This mini PC strikes a good balance between performance and consumption, enabling you to play games or use editing software, without significantly increasing your monthly bill. The heat dissipation mechanism is very effective, I have never noticed unusually high temperatures even under continuous and intensive operation, with a maximum temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. The two fans that are there in the air vents spaced around the various sides of the computer, allow the internal components to be efficiently cooled even during the summer when temperatures are likely to rise, and testing may be possible. The fan noise isn't intolerable, and if you don't wear headphones, you can hear it loud and clear, but I didn't find it loud enough to be bothered by it. There are advantages and disadvantages to the Beelink GTR6's I.O. compartment. 
Let's start with 4 HDMI 2.1 connections, a reasonable configuration that enables the connection of up to 4 8K monitors at a 60Hz refresh rate. Next, we get two USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, and a 2.5 GB PSC Ethernet port that are all ideal for connecting accessories like a mouse and keyboard. A one-pin connector for the power supply may be found in the back, finally. Moving to the front, we discover a power button, a BIOS reset key, USB 3.0 port, a single 3.5mm jack for headphones and a microphone, and finally a USB-C port. Unfortunately, this last port is neither a USB-C 4 port nor a Thunderbolt port, so it cannot be used to connect an external graphics card. This is not a serious shortcoming, but it should be remembered nonetheless. The Beelink GTR 6 doesn't cut corners, it's a mini PC with a stunning appearance, and top-notch internal parts that can deliver top performance, while using very little power and occupying very little space. With this new model, Beelink has set the bar even further. In terms of performance and appearance, it is a strong contender for one of the best micro PCs available right now. Thanks for watching, I hope this video was useful for you, see you soon.